Joshua Cupperson Show. This is episode 83. And now to get into our special guest. She graduated from New Bern High School in 1995, played basketball, played ran track, and now she has her own gym in the Greenville Mall, and I'm gonna let her tell y'all what she teaches. Good morning, everybody. I'm Leticia Strickland. My gym is Flex Fitness Gym, LLC, and our goal is to flex on them. Here we offer step aerobics, cardio boxing, Zumba, personal training, boot camp. On Sundays, we have a special guest that has merengue, pachata, and salsa. And starting next week, we have a guy that come in and teaches martial arts. Man, she got a whole list of exercises, classes, everything that you need. So come check her out, my special guest, Leticia Strickland, how you doing today, baby? I'm doing well. How you doing, Josh? I'm Thanks doing all right. Me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And thank Thanks you for me. giving them the rundown on all that. That was a little too much for right there. But she got a lot going on, y'all. She got a lot going on. How have you been ever since COVID hit us and opening your new gym? How have things been going? Um, It's been going slow but steady. You know, just believe in God. Prior to this, um, I was teaching in another gym. COVID came. So it put me in a situation to where I had to get a, what we call regular nine to five. Even in doing that, I still had a vision yes, to have my own. So I began to put money to the side. Um, thank God I was able to open my gym, loan free, grant free, I, but I do want those grants. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, it's, it's been a, a great journey thus far. Um, really good location. So I'm just looking forward to greatness. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, let's go back to your childhood. How did you grow up, per se? Okay, so, I grew up in the country, West Craven Middle School area, um, Vanceboro. So, I attended West Craven Middle School, where I was first introduced to any type of fitness sports, outside of my uncle in the backyard on the little dirt court. But, um, Miss Wells, Denise Wells, um, along with Miss Sheila Long, they just taught me so much. Um, I started playing basketball there, also volleyball, played basketball. Um, I was a PK, so God was always first, you know, was always in church outside of, you know, sports. Then later on, I went to West Craven High School for a couple of years, had the pleasure of being up under Coach Jordan there, Lebo, as they call him, Jones, was also um, my basketball and track coach. So fitness was always something that I loved. Later on in life, I began to officiate. Let me back up. Before I began to officiate, I was teaching Zumba in Bertie County. I was teaching at the YMCA there, step aerobics. I was helping with an after school program called Place of Possibilities in Orlando, North Carolina. So these are the things that led me up to being where I am now, to give me the motivation, the encouragement to do the things that I do. So. After that, I began to officiate. I was teaching YMCA. I was coaching there for the boys, 13 to 16, and then 16 to 18. I taught jump to the referees. So with that being said, the referees stated to me, I bet you can't do what I do. So I was like, well, what do I sign up? Just a challenge you had to do. <laughs> right, so that's how I got into officiating because he told me I couldn't do it. So of course, once I began officiating, I realized I knew nothing as a player about officiating nor did I know anything as a coach because I, I had to learn positioning and th different things of that nature. I did JV for seven games. They booted me up to varsity. And currently, starting this year, I'll be doing the NCAA. So it's just been a great journey. A, a great, great journey. journey, but you've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. All over the place. So going from coaching, the whole, going from playing basketball as a player to coaching, now refereeing the game, how do you see any differences? from actually playing the game as a player and now you are officiating. Right. Like making the call, players streaming at you like you were streaming at the coach. What do you see the differences like? Well, the difference now is I understand what officials actually have to be looking at. Like, okay, so as a player, um, I will have an attitude and be like, well, how did they call the foul on me? And they're all the way over there. Well, they call the foul, now I know because that's their area. Right. As a coach, certain things. So, you know, as coaches, we feel like they can handshake. NCAA, you can't touch it all. 
high school, you can hot stove, but you have to get your hands off. Hands off of so it's so many different dynamics to the game, depending on what level of the game that you're looking at or that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So like you referee in middle school is different than referee in high school. Oh, definitely. Different. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's different in AAU. AAU is a faster game. Um, it's normally more talented kids in the AAU. Yeah. Not saying, I mean, they all have talent, but it's just a different ball game. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. So, going from all that and now into fitness, teaching all of these different classes and having your own building. First, how does it feel? Oh, it's phenomenal. It's, I mean, I don't know, it's speechless. Like, it, to wake up and be your own boss, it's just amazing. But then the back end of it is so much. You have to do so much, especially when you're going into it alone. You have to be the fitness instructor. You have to be the owner. You have to make sure the bills are paid. You have to, I mean, it's just so much, but it's worth it. Yes, ma'am. It's yes, worth it. Yes, ma'am. So what was the first thought that came to mind when you said, hey, I want my bills? What was, what was the, the mindset, the foundation of you just like, all right, I'm tired of this. I want my own. Well, my thing was, I've seen so many people that's not healthy. So to go back home and go to different areas and see people that I've been knowing my whole life and to see how we're all kind of just, how can I put this? I'll just say we're not healthy. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Um, we have to understand as a people, and I'm not just trying to pinpoint, but statistics say that High blood pressure is us. Yes, Diabetes is us. Yes, you understand what I'm saying? Cancer a lot of times is us. That's what this. That's not what I say. Statistics say that African Americans are people that have higher percentage, higher percentiles in these areas. So I started to say, okay, let's be healthy and happy. That's my motto. Because if you're happy, a lot of times you're healthy. If you're healthy, then you're going to be happy. But if you're way down and I gotta get this medicine, I gotta get that medicine. Every medicine has a side effect. So it may help you with one thing, but hurt you with 10 other things. You understand what I'm saying? Like you may be taking something for your blood, but is it then in your blood? It's just so many dy dynamics that we as people are not educated on when it comes to this fitness thing. It's not about just coming here and shaking around or doing, but it's about being able to have more energy. That's what's most important, more energy. Making sure that your lungs are getting the things that it need. I mean, it's just so much to this thing we call fitness. It's mental. Sometimes you punch in that bag and you don't know how much tension and stress it takes off of you. So not only are you getting your workouts, but you're just coming down as far as your stress levels. And it's just so much bigger than just what people see with the naked eye. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. And I just want to give back. Like so many of us are going away from here and it's, it's really sad and because we can prevent a lot of stuff that we're not preventing. Just people, period. I'm not just saying us, but just people, period. It's a lot of things that can be prevented. Simple 15 minute workout, 10 minute workout. I mean, you don't have to do everything somebody else is doing. Man, it's just sad. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's a that's an awesome reason to, to start teaching fitness. I mean, man. Yeah, yeah I, I want to just help fitness. people. I want to educate. I need to get back in shape. Oh, yeah, do a little push <laughs> I need to get back in shape. I'm, I'm getting right, y'all. I'm doing my push ups. You're not. I'm you're doing not. my push ups, y'all. Push ups. Mm -hmm. That's it. No party up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going right. yeah, to right. I'm gonna get right. Yeah, we're going to get them right. I promise y'all I'm going to get right. I promise y'all. So, what's next? So, eventually. I now that get, you, once you got your own building, I mean, what's... Expand. Get a larger building. Um, like I said, and then I I teach kids, adults. There's no age limit for me. One thing that I do, I modify, so I do modifications. Because I understand everybody's not going to come in here and do the same exercise I do at the same speed. So with that being said, I may be running high knees. If you're just doing a simple high knee, you're working the same muscles. You're just doing it in a different modification of it. So a lot of people feel like they have to start here. No, let's start here, let's take baby steps and let's build you up to where you're comfortable and you're really getting the results that you need. Man. So I tell the people, how can they get in touch with you to come in here? Cause I'm coming in here. I'm coming in here. 
So on Facebook, my name is Latisha Strickland, L-A-T-E-S-H-A. Last name S-T-R-I-C-K-L-A-N-D. IG is Latisha Strickland Official. My website is also on Google, Flex Fitness Gym, LLC. You can pull me up. Everything's there. Or you can contact me at 252-268-6577. I do free consultations. Everything that you tell me is confidential. That's pretty much it. Big business, man. Big business. If you want to get in shape, if you want to get healthy, if you want to take care of your body the right way, come check her out. I promise you she will not disappoint. I promise you she will lead you in the right direction. It's the end of the Joshua Coverson show. Uh, the episode 33 with my main lady, one of the best trainers to ever step across the ENC. She's in the Greenville Mall. Come check her out. Latisha Strickland, we out. Come get this work. Thank you, everyone, for watching the Joshua Coverson show. I appreciate your love and support. Continue to show your love and support by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Tune in to next week's episode of the Joshua Coverson show. Love, peace, we out.